The German Army, Navy, Air Force, Post Office and Railroad will use about 100,000 of these over the five years of the war. I got invited to a Google GDG event at Belletschdi Park National Computing Museum. There we had some great talks on the Google Cloud platform. After the Google Cloud talks, we had a private tour through the Museum of Computing at Bletchley Park. I'm going to show you some clips of how awesome the tour was. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Now this particular piece of kit is a standard M3 Army Enigma. Nothing unusual, 1935 construction type. You have a plug board, you have in the scrambling unit, three rotors with a reflector and an input point and then we have the light bulb here. The idea is that the German operator has to just watch this piece of paper tape here. As it comes out, he tears off a length of the page and he sticks it in a page. And he keeps doing this, there's a reason. As long as you keep watching that, the moment it speaks to gibberish and gobbledygook, you know there's a problem. So you would immediately send your machine to send and you start getting the J key, which is the bell key. That issues a command at the other end, the guy goes, what's wrong, and you converse, and you create new keys. So we have to use rectangling to find out the pattern of switch changes, and we used to have to use Turing or even the Turing method of hacking into these using manual methods or depth. Now, the problem becomes a bigger one, because as the Germans expand the network, we can't keep up with the messages unless something changes. So, Max Newman, his job is to mechanise, think, how can we pull things and turn it into a mechanical process? 1974 onwards, nowadays we just have big fat screens. This is the 2008 model of that. We have a plane coming in, it has priority on the runway. So nothing else is allowed on the runway. This plane will appear on here. Once it is on the ground and left the runway, it is no longer tower control's responsibility. I hope you enjoyed the quick summary of the tour that we had. And it was an amazing event organized by the GDG Milton Keynes community. The tour guide was so knowledgeable and enthusiastic and really brought the machines to life. If you're in the UK or ever visiting the UK, this is a must see for techies and non-techies. It's just one hour outside London with some great public transport links.